cut. The letters are big. We're kind of thinking about the pattern. You could probably get, I don't know, maybe 50. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> Cut. We got red. This is not your kid's art class, but a major craft. All right. Making two local moms a household name. A name that some may like. My mom hated it. And you definitely cannot forget it. It also means um, to be streaked with color. We got red. It's a freaking billboard. That's right. That's the company name. And Beth and Ann are the founders. We want stuff in all 50 states. That's one of our one of our goals. And everywhere you drive, you can't help but pass the huge square advertisements. But have you ever wondered what happens when the plastic ads become useless? Do they go to our local landfill? Well, think green, all thanks to a challenge by Ann's husband, whose business is billboards. Some old ones were on the office floor, headed for the dumpster. I said, oh, we can't throw it away. It's, it's pretty and it's durable and, you know, there has to be something to do with it. Go for it. With a challenge. He said, if it's here in 30 days, it's going back to the dumpster. They found a way. We took a piece of it and recovered a boat seat. She gave me a piece and I made a notebook cover out of it. And so then we knew that it could be sewn. But before the bobbin is threaded, all 14 by 48 feet of old billboard is spread out. The letters are big. Cut into smaller pieces. You can't fit this in the back of my car. Rolled up and hauled off to their homes for a soapy power wash. Then the creative cutting takes place with a design already in mind. I'll probably lay it this way because we can get red on one side, black on another. The next five days, we have to probably have 50 to 75 bags cut out, ready to go. And the many colors of thread are ready to stitch it all up. Personally sewn by a local seamstress. And this is what you get. We have the clutch. We have a journal. We have um, small handbags. Our journals, actually, that's probably the most, the most popular. popular men's product. There's also the sling purse and a large tote bag. I can use it, I can throw a lot in it. It's very easy to clean. It's great for the beach, for travel. My son was um, in New York with my parents this summer, and he saw somebody on the street with one, so that was exciting. In three short years, they have a full-fledged business where billboard bags are becoming a wardrobe staple. How do you make the time? How do you find the time? A lot of early mornings and late nights, <laughs> some weekends. Their mother's on a mission. If you have an idea, go for it. We're taking it over here. <laughs> Who turned useless plastic. They have two layers of billboard, and you can literally hose them out if you wanted to. <laughs> Into purses. I look at it, and it's just a start, you know. Probably cut, like, right here. You'd be surprised at how many people you know that can push you where you need to go. <laughs> okay. And they plan to keep pushing the product line forward. We're ready to go big, so um, I love where we are, but it's, it's definitely not where we'll stay.